let's see. Um, so I've tried this for a few days now. And uh, I'm, I'm really new to this. I'm still trying to figure out how to prevent my people from dying. <laughs> This game is not easy. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, what I did here is uh, initially I built up some gathering posts that covers uh, several resources around it as uh, you know just to cover everything as uh, maximum or maximized as possible that way I can uh, fully u utilize all my uh, workers with the less amount of people gathering all those resources around it that way I can allocate them to other places more effectively and let's see I have. Oh, sorry. There's a. <laughs> there's a warning. Sorry about that. Um, it's a weather storm warning. <laughs> that kind of startled me. Ah. Anyway, um, so I got another gathering post here. I had another call around here. That's the best I could do. Um, let's see. And there's a possible gathering post area to be built here again, but uh, I'll do that later, later on. Let's see, so my current uh, adaptations are sign emergency and child labor. I had to uh, sign the child labor first because I needed some workers. It just suddenly popped up. And... I guess the computer prompted me to do emergency shifts and uh, my workers here are not very happy <laughs> the discontent slightly um, raised up let's see what's next here so my technology currently, I'm trying to upgrade this one, the faster gathering. That way I can gather more uh, resources about 15% faster. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I got some workers here. And some workers here. They're hunting right now. Let's fast forward. Before, when I began this game, I used to, uh, I used to gather resources on. Uh, let's see what this is here. I used to gather resources like, like for this coal pile. I would put everything there like 15 workers and 15 here but then I discovered this gathering post and uh, it's really uh, a wonderful building it makes everything uh, efficient if you ask me my opinion I definitely would build a gathering post And it says here, protecting mother, let her have a day off. Let's see that. Poor kid. Uh, let's add another one over there. How many do we have left? We can maximize that. And then we can build another gathering post here. I think they're aligned pretty good. Just enough to reach it. That way we can save some wood. Mm, let's see. Let's 
Fast forward a little bit. Okay, coal pile depleted. We can dismantle that and then build it over here. We need to, uh, let's see. That's oh, I guess I messed that up. They're homeless people. Can I build? Um, still researching. Okay. It's time to work, guys. So the gathering came back. Let's see what. So, uh, I guess this beacon is really important. It's related to your steam cores. The steam core is this one. I guess uh, you need that for certain, um, like, research or building that you need to build. It, and it's going to require you one steam core. It's one of those uh, advanced buildings. Uh, we'll we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, oh, here it is. So when you this one right here, the steam still works. I guess that's the one that would need a steam core or possibly this one as well, if I'm not mistaken. And I guess it, it it's just like as you further upgrade everything like per tier here and uh, it becomes more efficient and faster in gathering all your resources I'm gonna do this <clears throat> that way uh, we can send out scouts and look for people um, I've never I've never had other refugees or other people come to my base <laughs> since I always kill my people <laughs> let's see here That's still upgrading what else can we do so we got one sick person hopefully I don't have to build another medical post to accommodate that one sick person Keep it, uh, keep it more efficient and sign a new law as we go along the way just in case if uh, well how about food can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food hope will fall slightly this can tell will rise slightly <laughs> eating soup will cause discontent well if we're, we're in the Arctic, <laughs> so more food is good in my opinion, even though there's a disadvantage that your hope will fall and discontent will rise, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hear me, hear me. New and law in the let's city. see, that's the hunter's hut, what does it say, cannot requires raw food. Okay. 
Let's see if we can build uh, another hunter's hut. This is my issue. I I got this OCD that I gotta make everything align, but but not that uh, not that bad. <laughs> Trying to prevent the uh, that person from being uh, gravely sick. Let's see, what's our objective? Build the beacon. So I've done the workshop. I need to build a beacon. Take. Uh, I need 20 wood and 35 steel. I need more wood. Let's do this. Let's maximize. No, not that. Let's have the children work. I'll provide some shelter. So I need shelter for 20 people. Um, I'm sorry I kind of clicked that fast. But uh, the objective is to build tents for 20 people. I got two days to do that. can clear this uh, road here that way we can save the the wood I think Smantle Street there we go uh, always look at your resources Prices. Shelter promise fulfilled. Very good. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. The work shift is done. Let's see. What else can we do? Now that always try to uh, mind your text and uh, your book of laws since they finish right away that way you can keep on upgrading stuff it's always a good idea to keep an eye out uh, let's see we all need available hands uh, let's see all the disadvantages. Hope will fall. Just can tell that child workers can be injured or die in an accident. Um, I saw something in my previous place. There's uh, like an infirmary in your ticks. Oops. Let's see. I think this is the infirmary. Infirmary checklist. Infirmary mechanic. I think this is more for uh, gravely ill patients, but uh, we're, we're kind of far away from it. <laughs> I'll have to upgrade the, the drawing boards in a little bit. I don't have enough wood. Let's see. Uh oh. Double the rations for kids. Make it for some child workers. Um, make them strong and help prevent injuries. Okay, let's do that. I don't want sick um, children. 
gonna try and build another food hut here. That way. Just enough to reach. So I just extended the shift, or the law, I upgraded the law to extend for extra 14 hours based on that prompt. I've never tried that yet, but we'll see what happens. So let's see if I can assign some more people here. I guess we can cancel some people here on the cookhouse since we got food rations for about two days. And we can do that. We can allocate them over there. Are we almost out of coal? No, not yet. There's so much to consider in this game. How many patients do we have? We got two. I guess I can take out three out of here. Yeah, I guess we can do that. And put them. Um, I don't want my engineers uh, gathering food. So I guess I can use engineers over there. Oh, wait. kind of worried <laughs> if they get sick they'll, they'll be out of commission and, uh, we're gonna lack the necessary people to do that particular job um, engineers let's see some more shelters and let's see what else can we upgrade let's do some steel because it looks like we're gonna need steel later on for upgrades need uh, medical care about 23 hours okay Do we have left? So we're at about 
run out of steel. Got sickly over there. Let's check if uh, our area is livable. As you can see, <laughs> I made all my area a little chilly here, and I discovered the overdrive and the temperature overlay. That's what happens when you click that, and then there's another toggle here that you can use. the overdrive since it's negative 40 that'll help uh, with the heating let's see if that works okay right on time and then we can do sawmill that way we can uh gather all these trees around here <clears throat> all those frozen trees what is this cold deposit so when you click the overdrive this stress level here for your generator rises and then uh, I would recommend just uh, about 50% here and then turning it off that way you'll have a wiggle or a cushion to use it whenever like your temperature goes below 40 like negative 20 or negative 10 I don't know I've, I have not gone that far yet but I'm just anticipating or speculating but hopefully uh, it won't go down that low Gonna fast forward a little bit. Let's see if we can. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's do that. That as well. Discontent rises. Poor kids. Provide them shelter right away. You'll have one day to provide people, and one day to provide shelter for 10 people. Okay, let's do that. There you go. Oh no. Let's, let's have them rest. No, the child dies of overwork and chips for today. Figured that would happen, but I canceled it. <laughs> no. This is saying here snow pit notice of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. Let's do this one. Go home. Hope rises. And so that's about over fifty percent. Just put it over <laughs> near the gathering post. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these poor kids.
tents do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just need one more. Oh yeah, the what do you call this? The workshop needs to be in a heat zone. I don't want him to die. I'll put him right there. There we go. I wonder. There you go. There's the beacon. I guess I'll have to build another medical post. Mm, no, no, I can't build anymore. So, since you're building more, more structures further away from the generator, this, what you call a steam hub, is going to be useful. It's, it's like you're building it sep a little further away from the generator and it generates heat so you can introduce a new law let's see what, what we can pick no I'm not gonna have any more kids die on me Organ transplant. Let's do that. We could use body parts of our disease to save lives and cellular healing. This way, the dead can gain victory. Sick recover faster. Okay, let's do that. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Can we? Let's. Oh, I ran out of wood. Got, so I got steelworks and sawmill. Let's see if we can build those. Nope. Don't have any wood. Uh, let's see. So what does it say? Storage near capacity. This, I hadn't figured this out yet, so my storage is near capacity. I wonder if I should build a resource depot near it or farther away from it. Extends our storage capacity for adjustment. Okay. I guess I can try that. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, it's, I guess it's just for storage. can take these people out of here and have them gather some wood crates so now they're no longer lost and blind 
So that's just for beacon. It serves as a, I guess your lighthouse for people, for other lost people. And here, this is our city. And I'm gonna see if I can assign a new scout. Well, it's needing 40 wood and five workers needed to create. I guess we'll have to wait for a little bit. Let's see the tech. Beacon. Heating. I need to upgrade this first. I'll show you guys later how to uh, use the steam hub. Ready to research. People cheers, John. This is a real feed. Volunteers lined up eager to look for a woman who came forward early as a mom. Okay. Let's find our engineers. Let's see, so they're working over here. I'm just gonna dump two over there and reassign them over here. Because we've got some sick patients. There we go. Let's see what happens. So that deducted how many was it? Five? Yeah. Just kinda estimate I'm not entirely sure how many patients are to one engineer, but just kinda play play um or estimate how much or how many engineers you can put in a building and how many patients this percentage here there's up to two workers on the shift 70 percent efficiency so that's basically about 35 percent per engineer and let's see how many patients can you patients one two three four five well i stand corrected I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, I guess for three engineers, you could do 120. Uh, 120% efficiency. Not really efficiency. I guess the load is 120%. Storage near capacity. Let's see, about three days. We could do about three days left. I could maximize. Getting sick more. I really need that steam hub. So my coals are full. Allocate those or this worker somewhere else. I need to build either sawmill or steamworks. Let's see where can I build them. I can put them here. That way, when I build a gathering post, it'll gather with it. Or you can. Uh, like it'll cover the trees or other resources near it. Let's uh, dismantle this building and dismantle the streets here. Let's 
gonna fast forward a little bit. So this covers, uh, kind of like the generator, a little, a little less than the generator. So you could probably do another circle for a steam up here. That way it covers the medical post as well. Homes. Any tents? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna cover this. Well, it's a waste of space. I think I must have uh, miscalculated this. I can just dismantle this building right here and build another one close to here. There we go. That should do it. So we got two days left for food. <coughs> people here and let's see if we can build some sawmill yeah we can um, I'm gonna try and put it over here uh, doesn't look very efficient Send some people over there. Just fast forwarding. I'm just pausing. Let's see. So we're gonna assign ten over there, and then I'm gonna build a steam hub. That way, they're gonna. Let's get a little bit closer. I need it like this. Excuse me, guys. There we go. Hopefully that 
solve the problem. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn this off. Let's see, 8 to 18. That way we can save uh, some coal. Oh, I guess we're about to run out of coal. I guess we can uh, dismantle that building. And then. I'm gonna put it over here that way when I build a coal mine it's close is from 8 to 6 p.m. I'm going to reassign some people here. That way they can gather some food. to run out of food. <laughs> Can I sign some kids here? Five hundred sixty coal per stand of a day, enough for two gathering force. Let's do that. went down. I guess I can uh, use some overdrive. say no gathering resources I can cancel that building I'm waiting where I can assign these kids I 
guess I can have you guys gather some gold for me. Go, call thumper. This time, can I create that drawing board? That way, we'll have some access to all this resource gathering here. And maybe upgrade the factory. That way, we can uh, have some. I don't know what you call it, probably. An Auto Matan. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. I'm gonna put that gathering post right there. Fiance is calling. I'm going to continue the vision a little bit. Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you.